since I posted uh, an big story. As we enter into our third year of this never-ending pandemic, um, I have so many new followers, which I thank you so much for that. I thought it would be time to tell a story about um, me and Nutmeg, how this all came about. Um, when all the lockdowns started back in 2020 um, and things started to go into effect, I, I, I spiraled and I was in a really bad place personally, spiritually, emotionally, just like everybody else was. Like it was just a tough time for everybody. I'd be on the, uh, on trails and, and out in, in, in the fields at this point, everything was locked down. We were basically, you know, at home. Um, and I was consumed with, at that point, uh, bigger things, hawks and owls uh, was a big part of that. And that I just sort of missed things that were right in front of me. So I set up shop on my porch, you know, had my laptop, my trail mix, um, cup of tea. And um, this little fur ball jumped up on my laptop and started to reboot my starving creative process. And I realized that right in front of me was the most amazing things that were happening. And I, being so consumed with being out in the wild and stuff like that, that I didn't even realize that right there in front of me, right in front of my very um, face was the most extraordinary things happening. Um, I quickly shifted and adapted and I started to discover the extraordinary in the things that I had taken for granted and didn't even realize that were incredible. I began my journey with this little chipmunk and um, little furry potato as I started to call him because he basically looks like a potato with legs. He's, he's very adorable. Um, and he ended up having this huge impact. The journey um, led to three published books in two years, um, very successful social media, and um, a relationship with Toronto Wildlife Rescue.